what's up YouTube? Scotty with Evil Castriegel. Yeah, we've been on a bit of a hiatus. Uh, you know, uh, I think I said in my last video, which was a while ago, uh, that uh, my wife and I had our first child and uh, we also moved into a new home. So it's been pretty chaotic at the uh, Evil Castriegel household and uh, it's been a little busy. So I haven't had a lot of time to do a lot of video editing in my spare time, but we're trying to get back into the uh, swing of things we got vintage days actually coming up so you'll be seeing some content on uh, vintage motocross racing uh very shortly obviously we'll be shooting some stuff out there this coming weekend uh but you see the bike behind me that is a 2020 indian challenger we've ridden some challengers before i think it's been a minute though um and this is the first production year of the challenger it's got 40,000 miles on it so i just kind of want to see what a 40,000 mile uh lifespan feels like on an indian challenger and uh give you my thoughts on the longevity of these motorcycles and ultimately just how they feel just kind of from the saddle thoughts i love this motorcycle uh, so i'm excited actually to ride one with some high miles on it and see how it feels uh after having spent uh a lot of time on the highway all right let's get into the video okay so we're out we're on the freeway on the Challenger, um, just kind of soaking up the uh, nice summer air. It's pretty warm, but it's not too bad out right now. I've got my vents open on the fairing. Uh, it feels pretty good. I got to say, um, when I heard this bike had 46,000 miles on it, I was like, whoo, doggy, that's, uh, that's a lot of miles on a motorcycle. Um, I don't know about that I'd probably steer clear but as I've been riding it I've just been on it for about six minutes uh, you know just kind of had a couple stoplights and then got up on the freeway but I've had a chance to kind of feel the steering feel the suspension feel the brakes feel the uh, motor its responsiveness and the tuning and all that you know um, and I got to say <laughs> if you told me this bike had 5,000 miles on it I would believe you it does not feel I've been on some motorcycles that are of this mileage, uh, and you can feel, you know, I mean, yeah, they're still rideable, but you can feel that amount of wear on them. But on this bike, I have to say, I, I, it does not feel at all like a 46,000 mile motorcycle. And, uh, you know, I mean, they it's known, like there's guys out there, there's some serious hardcore riders that they've got like 100K on these things already, and gold wings go far more, you know, they'll go further than that. But I think this bike's got plenty of life with it left in it. it it's kind of shocking me, to be honest. I left the dealership on it thinking, all right, let's just knock this video out. And uh, <laughs> I am now, um, you know, maybe about halfway through my ride on it. And I'm already thinking, should I just go ahead and take this thing home? <laughs> I would love to have a bigger bike for longer rides. Uh, I mean, I think, I think that is going to be coming uh, in the future. I don't know when that's going to happen exactly. You know, as you said in the intro of the video, I mentioned that, uh, you know, we got a new baby at home. Uh, she's now five months old at the time of recording this, but, uh, you know, we're pretty busy and we, we just moved to a new house and lots of things are going on, but, uh, I think I kind of want a bagger. I don't know. And I might want one of these. I kind of like it. For the longest time, I thought I would probably end up on an Indian Chieftain, and I do really like the Chieftain, that platform, the way they handle and how smooth they are. But I have to say, the Challenger, this has really impressed me for having 46,000 miles on it. It feels like brand new. It's crazy town. I mean, it's absolutely insane. And that power, hard to beat that power. <laughs> I mean, literally, it is like, you know, kind of the Mac Daddy right now uh, in terms of like, this is the base, well, this is a limited, but I mean, even the base model makes this much horsepower, you know. You're not getting that on a Road King or a Road Glide. You might get some serious horsepower out of a Road Glide, but you're going to be spending a lot of money and you're not going to be getting the base model with that much power. So that's just kind of my two cents <laughs> on that debate. Uh, they're both great motorcycles, but this is just impressive. I really, I, I'm, 
I am fully shocked. And it is nice, you know, it's really hot, so I was kind of like, I kind of want the wind on me as I'm riding, you know, it is like 90 degrees right now. So I was able to open up these ports down here on the fairing. I've got the windshield in the all the way up position and it does have a vent on it as well. Uh, so actually I'm getting pretty good airflow. It's almost like I got a fan on me. Uh, it's, you know, I'm still cutting the wind where it's not on my helmet or anything like that. So that's nice. But I do get just enough flow around the old bod uh, to where, like I said, it feels like I got a fan on me or something. And that power is ridiculous. I mean, that is just insane. Super fun. So yeah, guys, I am so sorry uh, if you've been, you know, kind of wondering, man, where's the where's the videos, where's the content on the channel? And maybe you haven't. Maybe you've been like, thank God that guy finally shut up. But if you do watch my channel and you do subscribe, I really appreciate it. And I promise things are going to start to be more regular on here. I'm just, I am so busy with the move and with the new baby. And uh, it, it's just, it's been really, really hard uh, to get that stuff edited because it is, you know, hey man, I'm not making millions of dollars on YouTube. This is a, a, a part-time uh, fun thing that I do so uh, things are coming vintage days is literally I'm, I'm literally driving to vintage days at mid-ohio the day after I film this uh, so we will be hopefully interviewing some people about some motorcycles up there we'll be racing the Yamaha the uh, 81 YZ 250 up there at vintage days so that stuff will be flowing through the channel in the coming weeks as I uh, get that edited together. So things are coming. Um, just, just, try, just just, getting back into the swing of things. Uh, happy the Yamaha is actually running right now. So if, if you watched my Diamond Dawns video months and months and months ago, the last time I had a gate drop actually was like, I mean, I guess it's been, my God, I, hey, it's been, uh, what is it? It's eight, eight, it's probably been nine months ago since I had a gate drop. Uh, and I may have only ridden a dirt bike three or four times since then. So this will be interesting to see how this goes at vintage days, but, uh, it's going to be fun regardless. I like to go, honestly, my favorite thing to do at vintage days is just talk motorcycles with people and, and walk the swap meet and look at stuff that I shouldn't buy. Um, but yeah, anyway, the Challenger continues to impress me. I mean, for 46,000 miles, I think this is, I mean, it feels really good. Uh, I, I'm shocked. Wow. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for keeping up with the channel if you have. Again, I'm sorry about the hiatus. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in the coming uh, future. Check you later.